Hi, it's Jack here with Two Brothers Adventures. My brother Travis is behind the camera. Um, we're out here tonight in the desert. We're going to do a little demonstration on heating water with some rocks. i got five um, semi-round river stones here um, from the wash over here behind us. What I'm going to do is I'm going to toss these into the, uh, the coals of the fire here, let them start getting really hot, and then we'll come back and I'll create a foil bowl. We'll put some water in it, and we'll see if we can get the water to boil just with these uh, hot stones. So I'm going to go ahead and chuck these into the flames here. We already got a foil bowl on here that we're trying to boil some water in over the coals for another video. I'm just going to put these in here over here in these hot coals and let them try and start getting hot and then I'm going to go ahead and go out and make some tongs to pull those out and I'll show those to you after I get them done. Alright we're back. I think the rocks are hot so we're going to try and boil some water. I went out and got a couple of green sticks. What I did is got one with a fork and got uh, just a single one to go ahead and hold over the top like this to pinch the rock and then that way I can pull them out of the fire, blow off the dust, put them into the water and uh, see if we can heat this up. I'm going to put about a cup of water in the bowl here. And that's probably a cup, maybe just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the first rock, see what we can do here. Blow off the ashes as best we can. And that rock's plenty hot, so it's bleeding all of that heat into the water. Let's give it a minute there to bleed all that off. Now you want to be careful when you heat up rocks that you don't heat up ones that have been uh, moist recently. Um, we live in Arizona here where we got these rocks, and these rocks probably haven't seen water in a good couple of months. So they're good and dried out. You get a rock that's got water inside of it and you heat it up, um, it could actually explode and it could hurt you, so you have to be careful with that. Uh oh, I lost my rock here. I was talking and not paying attention to what I was doing. But let me go ahead and get that out now. I think we've bled off all the all the water that we can with that one. Let's put it back in the fire so it can start reheating. And I'll grab the next one. This is a little bit bigger, so we'll probably get a little bit more heat out of it. Okay. We'll blow some of the ashes off that and we'll go ahead and set her down in there. Now you're gonna you know probably discolor your water and get a little bit of stuff in there but you know that's just the, the nature of the business. If you don't wash your rocks first, I guess you could probably wash your rocks first and then maybe um you know but then you might introduce moisture into them when you put them into the fire and it's probably not a good thing. When I'm putting these back into the fire they uh, you can see as soon as I pull them out of the water they pr pretty much dry instantly so there's no chance of them exploding by putting them into the fire. Well, it's still pretty hot. That's a big rock so it's draining off a lot of heat there. Okay, I'm gonna maybe pull that one out. I might let it sit there a little bit longer, but in the interest of time, and I'm gonna get another fresh hot one. Put him back in there for now. Get this big guy right here. Okay. <sighs> Try and get as much of this ash off. It's really good to have a good pair of gloves when you come out and do stuff like this. Um, I can't overstate that enough. Well, there you go. As you see, we, we've got a boil going there. So that's uh, that's pretty hot now. If that was soup or tea or something else, that's a good rolling boil. Um, that's probably even good enough to uh, sanitize that water if you had to drink it. And let that go for a minute like that. By the time it cools down and that rock's blood all its heat off, anything that's in that water is going to be dead. So it would be good to drink. Um, only took three of those rocks to heat that up. If you had the foil, you could make a much bigger bowl, and it wouldn't take many rocks to, to heat up the water. Um, as you see, this is an effective method. You could probably cook soup with it, or you know, put some meat in, and or some some uh, local edibles that you found into a bowl of water, and uh, just use some hot stones like this to heat it up. So, anyways, that works, and uh, we're gonna let you go from here. This is Jack from. Uh, 
Two Brothers Adventures. My brother's been running the camera there, Travis. So keep your knife sharp. Get out. Try some of this stuff so when you really need it, you know how to do it.